Last time, this was the end of the demo. I traced the core design uh, twice. Once on this, once on this by being flipped, right? So uh, let's do the cutting and gluing. That's the last portion of uh, process of this. So, um, okay. So let's uh, um, cut this. Okay. So I want to cut this part here, but uh, I don't want to cut two papers. I want to. I would like to cut only one paper. So I'm gonna just. Uh, you have to put some cardboard like this so you don't cut both paper at the same time. Does it make sense? Right? Okay. Oops, something. Sorry. And cut something. I want to cut this black shape. That means. I am cutting This part out too. This part here. Okay, so I just cut this one. It will be flipped and on glued onto this, like that. Okay, so um, when you cut, you have to glue this one. Sometimes it gets confusing. Which side should I glue? Right. So I'm cutting this part and taking out, I'm gonna put the nori glue or any stick glue you have. And I'm 
Just I happen to have this nori, nori glue here. Doesn't have to be nori glue, but uh, stick glue is fine. Just the nori glue seems a little bit more um, fluid. Okay. And sometimes it makes sense to have a, a, if you have a tweezer like this, that, that makes a good help because you don't want to touch the sticky surface. And flip it and glue. It's like a no time. Okay, so make sure you are making this symmetric design. It's like no time, but you are making this time you are making this exact symmetry. All right, so let's do one more. And this time I'm cutting. this big shape here. So where you glue is the original surface and right and then make sure you're flipping it before you gluing it. So you have to keep going like that. So um, this is a morning class I started, so I kept, when you get to these small shapes, you lose it. <laughs> you may lose your your uh, small cutter shape, so uh, make sure you, you are using handling very well uh, with a tweezer, okay? Um, so you can just uh, keep working, keep cutting, keep growing, okay? So uh, once this is done completely, put the entire design onto white backing paper, such as Bristol, okay? Then you have very nice surrounding white to give a contrast to the artwork, okay? But so, so work on the paper cut onto color paper, and then at the end, you glue onto the white backing paper. This is a 17 by 14, same Bristol paper. It can be a little bit smaller, but uh, uh, mine is a 17 by 14. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Do you get the idea what to do here? And I'm going to cut here. All right. Okay. Now, this stays here and this comes out to be glued and flipped. Gets confusing though, okay? I know you'll be confused and you may put that glue onto the uh, long side of the paper. That's probably it's gonna happen. So just you have, before you glue, you put the glue, just think one more time. Is it right side? Because once you put the glue on the wrong side, it's become a little bit messy, right? So this goes here and this should stay here. That means I put the glue on the other side of the paper. Ah, okay. How do you know this is actually two girls watch, you know, seeing each other? It's kind of, it doesn't look like, like that at this point, right? But uh, 
that's going to be end product when I finish cutting. Okay. Do you get the good idea about this? 